Hello everybody, Last Hattery here. Welcome back to Firewatch. We got on the other side of this fence. I have a lot of questions. I am creeped out and scared. And yeah, there's a weird bridge. I feel like I'm gonna die. Henry's gonna die. Oh my god. This is awful, by the way. Um, I don't have anything but an axe. I guess I could use that to fight off shit. Is there aliens? the hell man gone home made me scared over nothing and this game kind of gave a little uh easter egg to gone home so maybe i have no reason to be scared and it's just nothing and it's a misunderstanding and like that's it's kind of doing that i'm ho ho hoping it's like a tower okay i'm at the site i don't see anybody around lucky for us yeah, lucky for us. E, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower, and they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Oh boy. Do we just break in somewhere where we are not supposed to be? Cause that looks like it. Is that a turret? Please don't shoot me. Oh, oh, there's like a big fucking camp. Can I report this to D? And there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. Is that a person? I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us. Yeah. Like us. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Okay. It's a be belt. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. Wh what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Oh, God. Okay, um... There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out Green how to light. get the hell out of here. Green light means target straight ahead. Ah. Henry and Delilah. Henry M. Delilah A. What the fuck? 
one week. This is like information on us. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of. Delilah A is 43. Program status review one week, four weeks, six weeks, ten weeks. Observational traits reliable considering alcoholism. Observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Pertinent observable facts. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite longtime partner named Javier. And sub susceptibility to manipulation three. Reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the. Henry is 39. He's one week. It's okay, okay. Comprehensible explorer keeps to the path, prone to anger, passive, guilty, forthright, guarded, subject overview, subject has fully engaged supervisor, trust yet to be scientifically proven, all signs point towards full cooperation, subject may be aware of test, suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Oh god. Two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! What Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. What the hell's happening? We should just burn the place down. That's insane. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. What the hell? Uh, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. I don't want to go outside. Yeah, I'm it's scared. definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up. It's okay, I'm heading It's back. all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. I'm so fucking... I'm not going out there. I'm so scared right now, you guys. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna get not my ass kicked, aren't I? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm running. I'm running because I'm scared. So we're all- this is some sort of science, like, test? This is some part of, like, not test, but are they- I don't know. I'm sprinting back. I'm so scared. If this was me, I think I would probably throw up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh shit! Call of smoke. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. Yeah, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. I didn't it wasn't do it. Me. <sighs> what do we do? I don't know. Call it in. Just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. What? Oh, well, I went to chop down that tree and it's not going to let me. So this is the same day, isn't this? Day 77 is the same day. Dear Psycho, Dave, those are all my letters. That's all the stuff I found, right? This receiver just picked something up. Like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Dude. No too much. Delilah lying? 
Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What are they following? What? They want it back. Who? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. God damn it. So she's I'll not gonna just be leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Any help. She's gonna be really fucking drunk. So let's go. So my radio is off right now. I cannot use my radio. I don't like that. But I can use this. I probably should have taken more pictures. Where's that fire at? There we go. Probably should have taken pictures of the campsite. They said when it's green, you're headed in the right direction. Jesus, okay. Shit. Oh god. What? Ah. what the hell is that? A cave. That's the key to that cave. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not at my I'm tower. Not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. It oh my god. Not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Um, let's put this away. It's up this way, isn't it? Yeah, right there. There's my tower. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. What the hell? This is Delilah's tower? Hey, is that person still up there? No, he's gone. Alright, I'm close. I just didn't want to run into him. Yeah, look, be careful. I'll call you when I get up there. I'm up here. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. There's a Walkman. What the hell? Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Oh my god, okay, day 78. I don't know what's happening, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm the place down. Delilah. What? Just burn the place 
We're like going crazy here. What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We'll just stick together. We, just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. I don't know what to think. I feel like this entire thing is like fake and I feel like I can't trust Delilah anymore. Okay, so this is where I'm at and I need to go north from here. North. That's not the right way. So this way. All right. We're going up. Hey, you You didn't actually make that call, right? To to be able to look out. But I know of no. It's just stuck in my craw. I I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Couldn't even if I wanted to. I don't to. even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. I'm gonna die. I'm so fucking... Fuck this a million fucking ways. Alright. Here we go. I'm here, Delilah. Oh my god, I can't even blink. Ah! What the hell? What's over here? Well, hold on. What's down this way? Jesus, this is a big cave. Okay, don't go down that way. I'm scared. Do you guys do you guys know how fucking scared I am? Because I'm really scared. Okay, breathe, Lauren. Everything's fine. It's just a video game. It's just a video game. Um, this cave is huge. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. We're okay. freezing in here. Will you stop talking so loud? Delilah, why are you talking to me? Why am I in here? Is that blood? That's blood. Oh my god. Nope. I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. They're gonna murder me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I saw blood. Uh huh. I'm okay. We're fine. Can I? Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? I think I saw blood. Lila Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. 
don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. So, where do I go? This way? Oh, duh. The hell is happening? This game scares me. I'm trying to find my way out of here, but I don't... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. To get boards, rope, rocks, tools. He built himself a real castle. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a... Brian Goodwin, Hamilton Science Fair, Mrs. McNamara, 6th grade, talking meteors, how ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that people could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You would probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you are thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator. It's not real, but you are wrong. It is real. It is science. It's possible because of meteor scatter communications. My science fair project proves that meteor scatter communications is real, but what is it? MC MSC is a radio prop propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors upon their atmospheric entry can recreate a dense can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communication paths between operators up to 1500 miles away. It's pretty cool. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles away from my house. We're going to try to talk at a regular time, but my hypothesis is that that won't work and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish a um, communication. Shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Now sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait, are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. And he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchor. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail. My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. This The reward will be good. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to... Character Gladius Silva, Chaotic Goodrace, Half-Elf Ranger... So this is like for that game, isn't it? Hide them in a cash box or something. That reminds me of that game and that it. thing. He left a note for a ranger to find. Radio plan. Find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing. Yeah, it sounds like Ned was put. I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. So, dear Mr. Zackler. Him and, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. A bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it 
because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. Okay. Well, I think we got it all. I don't know what to think right now, honestly. But, um, we're gonna figure this out. Wait, it looks like there's like a rock or something. So, something I never told you. Okay. Anyone Lay it on me, Brian. Delilah. In regards to him being out here, you know, being against the rules. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Okay. I feel like there's a whole lot more to this Brian kid, and I feel like that's really important to our story. I don't know if it is or not, but we are certainly are finding more stuff to do with him, and there's a whole lot going on. I don't know if, like, what Delilah's even telling me true is about Brian. We're gonna have to find out. I think we're getting kind of close to the end of this. I feel like there's maybe gonna be two more episodes left, uh, time-wise. We'll find out. Um, I'm just gonna keep going and figure out. So, I'm Laz Hattery. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Happy watching!